This is Erica Dunn, your On the Street reporter. We're here at the Dickinson School of Law to ask the professors a very interesting question. A lawyer joke. Oh, sure. Be glad to do that. Uh, there are three guys uh, sitting around a bar. Uh, one's a builder, the uh, second one's an architect, and the third one's a lawyer. And they're all discussing uh, which of the three has the oldest profession. And the uh, builder says, well, that's obvious. I have the oldest profession. The Bible says in the beginning, God made heaven and earth. And that shows that, first of all, God was a builder. And the architect says, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, first thing God did was create order out of chaos. And the lawyer says, who do you think made the chaos? Um, what's the difference between a dead skunk lying in the middle of the road and a lawyer, dead lawyer, lying in the middle of the road? I don't know. What's the difference? Well, there are skid marks before the skunk. <laughs> My current favorite. Uh, the difference between a lawyer and a catfish. Do you know the difference between a lawyer and a catfish? No, I don't, but please tell us. Well, one of them is a uh, bottom-dwelling uh, scum sucker, and the other is just a fish. That. Yeah. Keep going. A lawyer finds out that he's about to die. And he's visited by both God and the devil. And they give him the choice of deciding whether he would like to go to heaven or go to hell because he's committed an equal number of good and bad deeds. So at first, he goes down to take a look at hell. And this is about the middle of July. And he knows he's going to die in about October. He goes down and he looks and it's 85 degrees, it's sunny, people are sitting on the beach, there's a cool breeze, they're listening to music, they're dancing, and they're drinking champagne. He says, wow, hell isn't so bad. Then he goes back up, looks at heaven, and heaven is exactly the way that he had expected it. It's, it's white, everything's fluffy, there's harp music, there are angels, nice place. So he goes back, meets with God and the devil, and says, I take hell. He goes back to work at his office, stays there, finally, gets the big one, drops dead, and he goes down to heaven. And when he gets to heaven, he look at, cut, cut, cut to heaven. I was being optimistic. He goes to <laughs> hell. And when he gets down to hell, he sees that it's dark, and it smells, and there's fire, and there are rotting bodies and maggots. And he goes back, and he looks at the devil and says, devil, I was down here in July, and it was 85 and sunny, and people were drinking wine and dancing nude on the beach. What's going on? The devil goes, oh, that, that was a summer associates program. Excuse me, Professor Alexander, could you do us a favor and tell us your favorite lawyer joke? Roll dance, the biggest lawyer joke I know. Get out of my office. No. Your wife is a lawyer, ripe old age of 36, drops dead from a heart attack. This one happens to be a lawyer who did good deeds, so he's up at the pearly gates. And he's questioning St. Peter. He says, what's going on here? I'm 36 years old. I've been perfectly healthy. I jog every day. I only eat organic food. And I'm dead. St. Peter looks at him and goes, 36? He said, we look at your billing records. By the amount of hours you've billed your clients, you're 112. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, why are all dumb blonde jokes one-liners? I don't know. Uh, so men can understand them. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yeah. Professor Alexander? Yeah. I told you, get out of here. I'm terrible at telling jokes. I, I can't tell any lawyer. Oh, I, oh please. Terrible. Please just tell us one quick one. Well, it's not a lawyer joke, but it's the only joke I can tell because it's real easy to remember. What goes ha 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 thump? I don't know. What goes ha 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 thump? Someone laughing his head off. <laughs> They're a really good one. Of course, there there is the one involving the uh, the sharks. You 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 do know the one about the. Uh, no, we don't know that. Oh, Could you well, please tell us? There was a. <laughs> you can, we can come on camera too. No, that's all right. There there was a boat, and in the boat was uh, uh, was a lawyer, a doctor, and a minister. Uh, and uh, the boat was getting too full, and somebody had to uh, somebody had to be ditched out of the boat. And there were sharks swimming all about, and so they drew straws. And of course, the lawyer drew the short straw, uh, and uh, so the lawyer had to jump out of the boat. And 
he started swimming, swimming through the sharks. The sharks parted company and let him swim right through uh, safely to shore. And uh, the minister got down on his knees and thanked God and thought it was a great miracle. And the doctor said, that was no miracle at all. It was simply professional courtesy. <laughs> So I actually use this in an article I'm writing and for a presentation I'm working on today. And it's that the reason that lawyers are, uh, are so incompetent, they commit so much malpractice, is because they're always practicing, they never get it right. <laughs> how many law professors does it take to change a light bulb? I don't know. How many law professors does it take to change a light bulb? Just one. She stands there while the world revolves around her. <laughs> Would you share with us a lawyer joke? Well, I have some difficulty with that. While I've heard a number of them, um, I really don't reinforce bad behavior, so I don't retell really tell them. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, you want to hear a joke about lawyers. Of course, none of our lawyers and future lawyers or anything like that. But what's the difference between a, uh, a dead lawyer in the road and a dead snake in the middle of the road? We don't know. What? Well, usually there's skid marks in front of the snake. <laughs> Try a group of lawyers, or a busload of lawyers, that go off the side of a cliff with one seat empty. I don't know. What do you call it? A waste. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Alexander? Yeah. I told you, get out of here. Scientists rather use lawyers than rats for their scientific experiments. Well, you know, actually, there's two reasons. One, Scientists get attached to rats, and two, there's some things even rats won't do. <laughs> okay, what do you call a lawyer that has an IQ of 75? What do you call him? Your Honor. <laughs> I'll read you a judicial opinion instead. This is from Fisher v. Lowe, Michigan Court of Appeals. The site is 333 Northwest 2nd, 67. 1983. <coughs> Gillis Judge. We thought that we would never see a suit to compensate a tree. A suit whose claim and tort is pressed upon a mangled tree's behest. A tree whose battered trunk was pressed against a Chevy's crumpled crest. A tree that faces each new day with bark and limb and disarray. A tree that may forever bear a lasting need for tender care. Flora lovers, though we three, we must uphold the court's decree. Affirmed. <laughs> End of opinion. Yeah. Professor Alexander? Yeah. I told you, get out of here. Repeat the question, please. Would you tell us a lawyer joke, please? I thought that's what I heard. My God, that's against public policy. Excuse me, Professor Alexander? Could you do us a favor and tell us your favorite lawyer joke? Roll dance, the biggest lawyer joke I know. Get out of my office. No. I know. Get out of my office. <laughs>